Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And now we're going to get into the actual stages. Apparently there's 107 of them. At least. Plus whatever happens after completing all the stages, you know. Uh, this is Super Max 64. Or was submitted by Super Max 64. The stage name is Space Pipes. It has a score of 3. Out of like a possible 100. We have an energy element. I don't... I haven't heard anything about, like, tokens to collect during these stages. Oh, well, how bad could this possibly be? Why can I not... Why are we having difficulty jumping... Oh, gosh. Why can I not... What is going on here? Also, why are spikes not instantly killing me? I mean, clearly that's... No, not. Audio miscellaneous. Does... Pick up a fat... Okay. There's nothing... Okay. Why are the physics so... Wait, I'm holding right. Oh, wait, hang on, I get it. Okay, an explanation would have been nice. Nope, wrong way. I was I was trying to. This is actually kind of a neat idea. Once you understand what's actually going on with the stage, and understanding that how this is not normal physics. something up that way. I don't know. Okay, so they use that guy. Okay, I, I can't... What's really confusing about this is... That whole shot movement thing is only happening when I'm in the air. Oh, really? Where is it? When I'm on the... Wow, I took damage from that. When I'm on the ground, I can't... I I'm walking normally. I originally wanted to make... Oh, this is the author. Uh, wanted to make a different level, but because of Game Maker and or this engine, I had to scrap it. I made a different semi-joke level in a few hours instead. Also, I submitted this late on purpose. I hope I lose. Yeah, you, you did lose. By the way, Quint is the boss, and check out the pause menu for a cool effect. I mean, I saw that happening on the... Okay, I actually know how they did this part uh, from when I was programming or designing my stage for the Make a Good Mega Man Level 3 contest, because I unintentionally had things appearing on the pause menu that uh, shouldn't have been appearing there. Oh, so this is all for this day. Okay, we have Quint to deal with in this, uh... Problem is, I can't...
jumping is just like I have no momentum when I'm jumping unless I shoot the buster. So jumping can't be used to dodge effectively. I hate the the physics on this when trying to fight a boss. So we're going to just focus on sliding. Because I can't, I can't, anytime I jump, I am, like, guaranteed to take damage. How have I hardly done any damage to Clint yet? Okay. Does basic Quint have a weakness? Please, I hope so. Oh no, everything is disabled. I guess probably because the special weapons might function really weirdly with the uh, physics of the stage as well. Why have I hardly done damage? Maybe he's got more than a full health bar and I just can't realize that until I damage him enough. Got him. Kinda barely. Wow, that was, uh, that was a mess. I, I will say I do like the concept once you understand what the concept actually is and how it's functioning. Like, he put a message there. Why not have a message box at the beginning saying, hey, this is what's happening in the stage. I mean, okay, I can kind of see the, the gravity thing. That was from Mega Man 9. But, uh, that was so... All right, let's check out the judge comments by uh, Parmesan. Oh, you can see all their scores there. Total 37. Okay, the first time I played this level, it was a train wreck. Uh, once I knew what the gimmick was, it was actually pretty fun, but figuring out what was going on was really hard, was really bad. That's literally what I've said. Uh, the actual challenges that you present other than the boss, were pretty good. The level is too short. Yep. I would have liked to have seen a bit more of that. Although, and if, with a 48-hour contest, um, I would not even be able to... Uh, ignore the whole crazy gimmick. I would not even be able to make this stage in 48 hours. Uh, with all the, the issues and challenges I was having making my stage for the third contest. Uh, the level's too short, but what you have is not bad at all, other than gimmick conveyance. Like, the spot with the Joe where you had to time when to jump was pretty rad. The Quint fight is dumb, but not too bad. Uh, the Quint fight is basically don't, don't jump. <laughs> uh, BK Ouija, you wanted a joke review? Too bad, serious time. The concept in itself is flawed with the weird gravity physics, but weirdly enough, I can see that sort of gravity working when put in the right environment. This clearly wasn't that, but glimpses of neat ideas were seen, with having to jump and boost yourself with these shots to get over gaps. The Quinn fight was rough because I was too afraid to jump, so I guess that one is on me. Here's a fine meme. I... You probably did. That must be in reference to, you know, saying that he, that he wanted the, the lowest score and submitted it on purpose. That's not much of a review. M-Jack... 
It is too early to fire you, okay? It's, it is it is the worst level. Total 16. I like how we can see like all their scores on on everything here. Lots of lots of data to be had. Uh, Freems. It's certainly novel, but that's kind of where it ends. You control yourself in a really weird way, and there's an obnoxious quint fight at the end, and that's just that. Not much else to say. If it's a joke level, it doesn't even really manage to hit a level of absurdity. Wait a minute. We only have four judges, as opposed to the usual five. Okay. Alright, well, I know this episode is not nearly as long as the last one with all the preliminary stuff, but um, I'm going to stick to one level per stage unless some stages get absurdly long like some of those from the Make a Good Mega Man Level 2 contest where I had to do them in like three or four parts or two to four parts or whatever. So for now, I'll take my leave. <laughs>